after you tuck the chicken, you need to dry your hand, wash your hand, dry your hand. Now you slice it. Thin slice like this, but not too thin. Not too thick. See, it's like that. Nice. If you make uh, just just for five people, just make half, or just uh, one pound and a half. Just cut it in half. Divide by two. Divide by a half. It is fun to slide the chicken. Some people huh? say it's therapeutic. Uh, I, I don't like that. I just do it because, because yeah, I have to do it. I thought you just said it was fun. Just keep it. You can make a stir, stir fry with chicken, stir fry, fry fry with chicken. Or oh, with shrimp, you cook with shrimp first. You can make all kinds of stir fry. After you're done, while you top the chicken, you need to wash your hand. With the, oh. Wash your hand off with, with salt. And now you need to marinate the meat. There's that lazy Susan again. This is for marinate. Soy sauce. What and kind is that? Is it a special kind? You can use any kind of soy sauce. And I need sugar and corn on stock. One teaspoon of salt in here, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, sprinkle with some pepper, and about a tablespoon of soy salt. One full teaspoon of corn stock. One fourth teaspoon? Uh, no, one full, one full teaspoon. Oh, one full teaspoon. Okay. Mm. I like you to use my hand because it's uh, easier. Easier. So all the salt and sugar and pepper we mix it into it. And it makes that wonderful um, stir fry, squishy sound. Sound of raw chicken. Oh, smells so good. That you you can do this the night before. If you have time, you can do it. You can marinate overnight, the night before, or you can do it right away if you don't have time. So it doesn't matter. If you have company or something you want to do ahead of the time, just marinate and put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. All right, you can just set aside all that for now. Wash my hand again. Now I want to make a gravy or The gravy to put into the stir fry. The gravy. The sauce. Right. Two, four tablespoons of corn flour. And about and you put it in a little bag. So this Flour will dissolve. The corn flour will dissolve. So just about one cup of water. You must have salt. A half tablespoon, a half tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm lazy, so I get another cutting board. How many cutting boards do you own? Six or seven. Wow. <laughs> so right now I got the garlic and the ginger. You need about a, a, a two teaspoon of ginger, fresh ginger. Yeah, the ginger for this stir fry um, vegetable. This is a fresh ginger. Yeah. It smells really good. Yeah, it up. So uh, this about probably two teaspoon. You need about what do you call this thing? Garlic cloves. Ah, uh, yes. Just about four, four to um, 
medium garlic cloth also chop the more garlic the better when I do my I don't make sure anything I just think I just think I just think how much I, I don't uh, measure anything this whole letter tablespoon. Yes, it is said it. That is not a tablespoon. <laughs> Just a big hunk of garlic. Yeah. Well, let's stir fry for 10 tables. Or more, we need 10 eggs. I like to put a lot of eggs in it. This is how I grab the egg. One. And or you can cut the recipe in half. Mm -hmm. Make it anything. Uh, just uh, cut half of the egg, like five egg. And I put a, a little pepper in here, just a sprinkle, and about uh, two teaspoon of soy sauce. I just do like that without measure. You whip, whip until it um, mix, bright all the yolk off. So it's scrambled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I cook the uh, the egg. Cook the egg first. Some people just mix like scrambled egg, but I like to cook. I like to cook the egg first. Just like you make omelet. You can use uh, either olive oil or regular oil. Just put like a, just like a teaspoon in there. Each time you do, you put the little oil in it, so it's not stick into the pan. I have a little bit too much oil, so it takes some out. Just a teaspoon is enough. And wait until it get hot. So this, uh, all the ten eggs over here. And I divide it by four. Put in there while the pan is hot. You cook just like you make omelet. You do like this so the, uh, the wet part that go underneath. You try to uh, turn it over. So it cook the other side. You just do the same thing over and over again like that. Until it's done in the bottom, it's all done now. Take it out. Take it all out. When to cook up. You put some more, more oil, cheat a little bit of oil in it. Not too much. So that it gets stuck in the water. And you put the egg in there again. If you put more, you can make it thicker. Depend on how people like it. Sometimes you can do a whole thing like this and turn it over. All done. Leave it over. This one I want to make. This one I want to make it thicker, so I put the whole thing in. How many years have you been making this fried rice and stir fry? Uh, this, this one I make maybe uh, 20 years. I make my own recipe, I didn't learn from anybody. I just create my own. It's easier if you divide by four. And you leave it over like that. Because it doesn't matter, you need to chop it up later. It doesn't have to be pretty. No. Because you chop it up later. That's right. 